Hey guys, so today you're seeing me draw a concept for a galaxy space cat. Uh, the idea was to have it be a logo thing. Um, I, you see me toy around a little bit with that at the end of this video. You know, we'll see if it sticks. But I just really wanted to have a cat logo, although since then I've realized so many artists have cat logos. But whatever, I love cats. I draw cats. Like, I, I, I make my own choices. <laughs> so the original idea, which I thumbnailed, was roughly the pose you see inked in here that I started changing about now, where I just was like, oh, the cat's holding a pen. And I realized that the cat couldn't hold the pen at that angle. I don't know, maybe it could. May maybe I was just, you know, overthinking it, but whatever. I decided I wanted it to be on the other side, so I had to completely redo it mid-inking. <laughs> Great life choice. I know this all started because I needed a black and white logo, so I decided um, to just make a black and white thing and do the try out uh, using gradients for shading instead of cell shading, which definitely worked out when I got to the space part. This was definitely a, I wanted this to be more planned out. It wasn't. Just things happened, and I'm happy with how it turned out. Like, I'm really happy with this. But yeah, I'm using uh, the gradient tool and then blending out the hard edges with the smudge tool which is a technique one of my professors showed me. Uh, William Cordy, if you're watching this. I tried the thing! Um, so, I know, I'm pretty happy with... The shading, I'm not sure, was... Oh. You guys are just getting the fresh audio because it's been too long since I've done a video. I'm just putting this out now, not really editing the audio that much, but... Not editing at all my ums or rambling or whatever, but yeah, I don't know, I ended up doing some cell shading and softening it up a bit as well just to emphasize some shadows. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about this. I also uh, fixed the shoulders because I posted this for critique and somebody pointed out I broke my cat's shoulder. So there we go. That's better. And I also moved the foot. Probably should have posted it for critique before I colored, but whatever. This was definitely a go with the flow type of project. <laughs> Even though I wanted it to be super planned out, it it wasn't. Uh, so the space texture, um, I'll have to put a link to it in the description. It's a Creative Commons texture, or I think it's public domain or something, but it's a photo by NASA from the Hubble Nebula. So I didn't feel at all guilty from choosing colors from it and intensely using it as a reference. I think I shied away from using it as a reference closer to the end, but definitely in the beginning. I used it pretty heavily, like to the point where it was color picking. And so I've been wanting to try the thing where you do a grayscale underneath your color for a digital painting for a while. And that was definitely a good choice on this, because there is no way I could have kept the value straight when I was first laying down the flats for the nebula. Like, I'm not at that level yet. So that helped a lot. Just really helped, like, give it definition and just not make it feel like I just slapped it on top. Oh yeah, and I reshaded the pencil. <laughs> Because the grayscale thing, for whatever reason, didn't work there. Uh, so this was my first digital painting, at least in a while. I certainly haven't really... I haven't done a lot of digital painting. Uh, this was with the oil paint brush in Clip Studio Paint, and I did use the smudge tool. Probably a bit too much, honestly, but whatever. I'm happy with the results I got, and I feel like for like a cloudy, murky thing that does work well. And honestly, you know, I'm learning from trying things, you know. I feel like I did get the soft look I was going for. Although I need to learn how to blend without using the smudge tool. 
that be great? Oh no, yeah, this was where I really started using the reference as less of a copy and more as just a looking at how the colors interacted. Especially for like that purple cloudy bit up there. Oh, and star brush in clip. I, I love the effects brushes in this program, honestly. So just to give it that starry feeling. Oh yeah, and I realized cats don't have whites in their eyes, so... Um, I tried a couple different colors. I tried this blue that you just saw me do. And I think in a minute I'm doing the purple. I know I did that. Oh yeah, there's the purple. No, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to go with. In the end, I went with the blue because it looked better. Just really didn't want it to be white. So here's the finished thing. I'm not sure if I'm going to have the text placed in that way, and I might toy with the pen a bit, but at least for the moment... That's what it is. I know, I'm pretty happy with certainly how the space and the cat part turned out. Just have to figure out the logo bit. And uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you liked it, you can subscribe for more. Uh, I draw cats. You can also follow me on all of these social media things for more cats. And hit that like button, maybe? I don't know. It's the YouTuber thing to do. 